This is Gene Key, KDD News. The water rates for Potter, Randall, as well as other counties across the Panhandle is about to go up. Mesa Water Spokesman Jay Rosser announced the upcoming signing of contracts on the $103 million deal on the parts of Mesa, Mesa Water Holdings, and the Canadian River Municipal Water Authority, which is buying the rights. The water, about 4 trillion gallons on just over 211,000 acres, primarily in Roberts County and the Northeast Panhandle. The Water Authority has already sold bonds to finance the deal. The City of Amarillo has sold $16.7 million in bonds for the water rights for the Authority. Increased municipal water rates will pay for the City's purchases. From NewsChannel10.com, an Amarillo couple has been arrested for a variety of charges. Police were called to Amarillo Boulevard and North McMasters to check on a driver. They say 30-year-old Joel Allen Morgan was stopped in his car in the right lane. Police say they found a bag with a needle and what they believe to be methamphetamine. Morgan was arrested for DUI narcotics and possession of a controlled substance, among other charges. He was booked into the Potter County Correction Center. His girlfriend, Sandra K. Nugent, was wanted by Potter County for a felony assault charge and was also booked into jail. The New Year holiday is almost here. If you're planning to visit Amarillo or Canyon to celebrate the New Year, you need to know this. Law enforcement across Potter County, Randall County, Amarillo and Canyon will observe the No Refusal Weekend. If you are pulled over on a suspicion of driving drunk, you'll have to give a breath test or you will be forced physically to give a blood test. The No Refusal for Potter and Randall County weekend will start at 6 p.m. Friday and last through 6 a.m. Monday. Please drive safely during the holiday season. If you'd like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDD News.